Hey guys, Dark Matter here. Uh, today, something a little bit different. So this is a, a commission that I just completed for Darth Brooks. It is a 3D printed DC-15S Clone Trooper Blaster. And <clears throat> a lot of different sort of challenges as opposed to just saber building. Uh, mostly just sanding and finishing and filling and sanding and painting over and over until you get something that resembles, you know, what you would like. Originally, this was going to be, uh, have a profi board and everything, you know, full electronic setup, but really the only empty space inside this thing <clears throat> is a, a half inch hole that goes all the way from where the barrel starts all the way to about here. So maybe a foot and a half long and obviously there's no space for anything else in it. So we decided to just make it a static prop, um, which meant that it needs to look, you know, good because it's not gonna really do anything. Uh, it does come in a, a bunch of parts, so they were kind of individually sanded and filled to the point where I was, you know, happy with the way it was going and then put it together into sort of sub assemblies so basically everything from the barrel forward all this stuff and then this whole section I had to put together and then you know just kind of work from there attaching the bigger assemblies until it basically just left with two big chunks and the folding stock was all that was left <clears throat> um, I did, however, while I was assembling it, I epoxied in about a foot and a half long steel bar, half inch diameter. You're not going to be able to see it because I painted the end of it black, but in person if you look down the barrel there, it stops about here. Um, there's a steel bar on the inside of it, so it's it's got some weight to it. Um, I, I wanted to get it to the point where it looks more metallic than plastic. Um, somewhere, here it is. This piece came with the kit. I didn't use it because I thought it looked better without. There's a little plug that's supposed to go in the barrel. Uh, but you can see the, the, the challenges of <laughs> the, the, the print lines. The whole part looked like that. And the whole blaster. So trying to get that um, sanded and filled and primed and painted and you know it's not not the easiest thing ever. Um, I didn't use this part Darth Brooks if if you want me to to sand this down and just paint it. I mean I didn't paint it or anything but I can sand it and paint it to match real quick if you ever want to use the little plug thing. I think it looks kind of goofy with it in there. Um, I think it's meant to probably be painted as a safety, you know, safety orange plug, just this front part. But who needs those? Um, so it's basically just finished in a in a matte black. Although I ended up using a, a bit of a, a satin black as well, just to give it more of like a metallic look to it. Um, and then some silver dry brushing. Let me turn this over. It's actually kind of heavy. Um, this, the folding shoulder stock does in fact fold out. And you, you could use it, but since it's <clears throat> Since it's a print and it doesn't like lock in place in the shoulder position or anything, it's, I mean, it, it looks metal, but it's not. So once it's folded back and the little piece is folded up, it, it wiggles and it's not, it's not the sturdiest thing ever. I mean, it's, it's meant to be displayed like this, but I did use uh, Chicago screws here and a longer one in the front. 
Um, so these, these parts do actually move as intended. Um, and then this, <clears throat> this little block piece, I don't think that's an actual piece on the, on the blaster if you look like in the Clone Wars or whatever, but that is meant to be as a, a keeper for this. It just holds it nice and, and you don't really see it, holds it nice and secure. I mean, I, that's that's pretty much it. And then, you know, a bunch of silver dry brushing just in the the areas where, you know, you might grab it here a lot, or you might like like rack it into a weapons rack on a gunship kind of stuff, and just wear and tear, but not not super beat up, nothing crazy. Just some wear and tear on the edges. Just enough to make it look metallic, but but you know it was a really fun build. I hope hope I get to do more you know, blasters and stuff. Uh, I, I really wish I could have put electronics in it, but I there's just without tools that I don't have. There's there's just no place to put a speaker and a battery and a you know LEDs and everything. I mean, I guess you could put a speaker in the right there or something, but I mean, other than that hole, these are fairly solid pieces. So I don't have a mill or any fancy stuff like that. So the goal was just to make it look, you know, more metallic than plastic, basically, just make it look like a real thing. And I think that the weight of it helps sell that as well. Um, so. Darth Brooks, if, if there's any other changes you want me to make, um, you know, more weathering or any any sort of cosmetic changes, let me know. Otherwise, I'll, I'll probably have it shipped out here to you very soon. Um, yeah, it, thank you for watching, everybody.